Hey guys, Phil Harris here from beginnerdjlessons.com and in this video I'm going to teach you how to DJ on a computer or laptop. Now I'm going to go right back to basics and assume that you've never done this before and run you through everything you need to know from the program to loading in music to doing your first tech house transition using something called beat matching, okay? So let's begin. So the first thing you're going to need is some software in order to do this. I'm using Rekordbox. You can download this from recordbox.com. I'll leave a link directly below the video. Once you've got it installed, what you need to do is some preparation in the program in order to DJ just using this program. So what you've got to do is come up to here and click on performance mode like this. This will allow you to see two decks on either side. Now, if your screen doesn't look like this and you don't see these uh, features in the middle, what you need to do is come up to this button here and click it, which will show you the mixer mode up here, okay? Now, after that, there's a few other things we need to set up. If you come up to settings and click on controller, you need to come and put your cr uh, channel fader curve to linear, and you need to move this all the way over to this side here. So if it's over here, what you need to do is click on this and just drag it down like that and bring it over to the smoothest setting. This is a crossfader curve. Now, what the crossfader is, is this thing down here. Now, just in case you don't know what this does, when it's all the way over to the left, well, actually, one thing you need to do is you need to come and select one here and two here. This would be deck one and this would be deck two. Now, when this is moved all the way over here to the left, to deck one, it's just playing the volume from deck one. And when it's over on here, it's just playing the volume from deck two. And what we changed in the settings is the smoothest transition from one to the other. In other words, as we move it across, it turns the volume down on deck one and the volume up on deck two in a very smooth way and vice versa. The next thing you need to do is come and click on this Q button here on both sides. Make sure it's red. That means quantize is turned on. Quantize is basically allowing the computer program to help you match the two songs as smoothly as possible so the beats line up nicely. You are, you're using the computer to help you do this. Now, next thing you need to do is just load in some music so you can create a playlist over here. Come over, click this plus button, create a new playlist. And then all you need to do in terms of dragging music in is just grab, drag a song like this, drag it over and literally drop it into the playlist like that. So you've got all your music here. Now, once you've loaded your music in, the next thing you've got to do is load it into the different decks so we can do our first transition. I'm going to be teaching this using Tech House Music, but this transition will be able to be applied to pretty much all music, especially electronic dance music that has a solid beat to it. So first thing you want to do is just drag one track up onto this deck and go and grab another track and drag it up into that deck like that. Now, when it comes to music, it's all about preparation. When you want to get that perfect blend from one to the next. Now, the main thing you need to make sure is the two tracks are the same speed. Speed of songs are measured by BPM, beats per minute. How many beats are there in a minute? If there's more beats in a minute, it's a faster song. If there's less beats in a minute, it's a slower song. As we can see, this is 128, this is 125, which meant if we were blending one track to the next, they'd be moving at different speeds, they drift out from each other, and it would sound terrible. So there's kind of three ways to change the speed of this track. So if we wanted to bring this track up to 128, and it wouldn't matter if you wanted to bring this down, it doesn't matter, you just want to make sure they're the same. Three ways to do it is you can hit these plus or minus buttons. As you can see, we'll move it up or down. The next thing you can do is just click on this button here and drag it up like this and manually try and get it perfect. However, in this video, assuming this is your first time in DJ Dex, we're actually going to let the computer do this for us by manually syncing the track. So I'm just going to reset this track now by double clicking on this percentage sign here. Like that. However, what we're going to do is we're going to allow the computer to actually do this for us. So we're going to use something called Beat Sync. The way you've got to use Beat Sync is you've got to tell the computer which track you want the other track to take the BPM from. So we're going to make this track the master track. So you just click this button here, or you can come over here and click this button here, whichever one you wanted. Make this the master, like this. And now when I come and click this button here, Beat Sync, it's going to match this BPM to this BPM here, like that. Now, there's actually more stuff going on here. When you have Beat Sync in place, and you, you kind of want to make sure Beat Sync is actually on in both as well. So click them on in both. 
Now, what happens with BeatSync is it's not just going to match the BPM, but it will actually really snap the two beats together for your first blend. Now, the next thing we need to do is prepare the two songs. Now, the great thing about Tech House is usually the intro and outro drums are 16 bars long. Now again, I'm going to assume that you are brand new, so you don't know what I'm talking about when I say bar. Well, in a song, there is four beats to a bar. If I was to play this now, you'll hear four beats. One, two, oh, we can't hear it. I've got to move this over here so we can actually hear this. And let's just go back to the beginning. Now listen, we're going to count to four. You'll see that each beat has a little white line attached to it. And every bar, which is every four beats, has a thicker white line. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. You see how that works? So that was different bars, and it'll also tell you up here, look, four bars we've moved in. Now, what we want to do is align the 16 bars intro of track B, because this is the track we're going to be bringing in from the beginning, over the end of track a over here and we need to make sure that they're the same speed and the same length so what we're going to do is we're just going to go and make sure that this intro is in fact 16 bars what you do is you can just drag this right back or you can click on this line here and move it back like this and we're going to go right back to the very first beat now you could of course just count along how many bars but there's actually a really easy way to do this so first thing you want to do is just find that first beat right here and put a cue point on it. You want to select this, make sure you're on hot cues and click this cue point here, which means wherever you are in the track, you can easily get back to this point easily. Okay. Now we're going to come to this and we're going to go to beat jump here. This will allow us to jump beats. So four beats will allow us to jump forward one bar. Watch. See how we jump forward one bar and I can jump back. But the one you want to focus on is 32. 32 beats is 8 bars. So we're going to jump forward 8. We saw it jumped across here. And we're just going to forward, jump forward another 8. And we can see visually on this line here that something changes at this point in the song. We're into a new section of the song. So the intro was 2 lots of 8, 16 bars, and we're into the main bit of the song. So we know that if we go back to Hot Q and we press play at this point, We've got 16 bars before it gets to the main bit of the song. Now, when it comes to the end of this song, we want to kind of do the opposite. We want to work backwards. So we're going to go right to the end of the track here and listen to where the track kind of ends. The last beat ends. Let's move this across so we can actually hear it. Okay, so we know that this point here was the last bit of the song. So what I'm going to do is a similar thing. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go to uh, beat jump. I'm going to go to 32 and I'm going to go back to one, two to this point here. Now I'm going to go back to hot cue. I've actually already done this, but I'm just going to do it again. And I'm going to set another cue point here. So we now know that if I was to press play at these two points at the exact same time, this track would come to an end. At the exact same time, this track would go into the main bit of the song here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back a little bit further than this point and set another cue point here so we can get here quickly. This just gives us a run up to this cue point here, G. Now I'm going to press play on this track. Make sure that the, cue, uh, the crossfader is all the way over to the left. And as it comes up to this point here where it says G, as we see it past this exact point, we have to be ready to hit play. So we're going to make sure that it's at the right point, which is this point here, by hitting this cue point. We've got to make sure we hit play at that exact moment there. That will then have the two tracks running at the same time, and I can just move this crossfader slowly over the 16 bars, the space of the 16 bars. I'm just going to slowly move this across, and it will give us a really pleasant transition from one track to the next. So let's give this a go. I'm going to go to H here. Make sure they're the same speed. Beat sync is on. I'm going to hit play and just do what I just said.
And there you go, that's that transition done. So all you need to do now if you wanted to put together a really cool DJ set is follow exactly what I've done here. And you can just go back and forth from this track, wait till it gets right to the end, and mark out those 16 bars at the end or 8 bars at the end. Mark out the 16 or 8 bars at the next track and keep going back and forth and reversing and basically continue doing what we've done here. And you will have a really awesome, smooth DJ set on your hands. The only th other thing I want to mention as well is this software will automatically notice that this is now the master software. Okay, so the master will swap back and forth. So there you go, guys. Really hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you leave a comment, like the video, and subscribe to this channel for all things DJing. I'm going to leave a video link right in the middle of the screen now for you to go and watch, which would be a perfect lesson follow-on from this one. So make sure you go and check that out, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Ciao!